Hello, this is Sophie with today's LinkedIn and Chill. This is Day, um, who might be waking up here. <laughs> so we'll see what we can get through uh, today. So because these are so early, you're welcome to call in, but I'm sure it's not something uh, that's top of mind for you. Uh, if it's like 7.30 a.m. your time, like it is in America, it's about 12.30 where I am uh, in the afternoon. <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm going to try to go to sleep. I'm going to go back to sleep. She's like, no, what's, what's going on here? It's the same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. <laughs> no, not really. But um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about asexuality because... Um, today is the start of Asexual Awareness Week, and we're in the middle, or towards the tail end now, of LGBTQ History Week, or Month. So, uh, just to kick us off then, uh, asexuality as a term was used, has been used ever since like the 1700s, but it really didn't become coined until like 1896, um, when uh i think it was coined in germany but uh yeah what it really means simply is that uh if you're asexual you're someone who doesn't have uh sexual you don't experience sexual attraction um from right here so fuzzy day hi you see that's so interesting isn't it she's like no get that out of here <laughs> so yeah, somebody who is asexual just doesn't experience um, sexual attraction. Uh, you can also have people who are aromantic. They don't experience romantic attraction. Um, you have people who are agender. They feel as though they have no gender. Um, so my very first uh, request to you is that you take a moment um, once we're done today with our puzzles and have a listen to the Sex with Sophie episode, Sex with Sophie podcast episode, all about uh, asexuality. I have a guest on named Pamela, who is an amazing, amazing person. And they talk to us about uh, being asexual, not understanding how they didn't kind of fit into the mainstream as they were growing up and, and um, you know, what it felt like to finally kind of put a label on the, the things and the the way that they were feeling their entire life. And so um, it's an extraordinary conversation. We get into a lot of uh, kind of tangential things around it that I think could be helpful to, to really give you a complete picture of what it's like to be ace, which is the uh, sort of shorthand for it. Um, the shorthand for aromantic is arrow. The shorthand for being on the asexuality or aromantic spectrum is aspec. Um, so there's a lot of language. There's We'll go into some of that even more <laughs> in our next topic. But first, let's go ahead and jump into Cross Climb. Again, I do our four, linked, four LinkedIn games in order of my least favorite to most favorite. So cr Cross Climb is just not, it's not super challenging, but I enjoy it. And sometimes I get stuck. So let's see how it goes today. <laughs> so today um, we're starting with a term for someone who sleeps. That can also follow bull <laughs> to get to the name of a construction machine. Oh, dozer. Like uh, in uh, um, Ghostbusters, right? Dozer, dozer. Anyway, I could be wrong. Cut as in ties. I'm going to say sever, maybe. Um, a simple machine that revolves around a crowbar, a lever, um, a romantic partner is a lever. I love that SNL skit with Will Ferrell in the, in the hot tub with his lever. <laughs> There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. World War II song whose rhyming title references a natural English landmark. And I'm in England, so I should know these things, right? All right, so let's just put these in order. 
of what letter changes and that was just one move okay um so now the top and bottom rows are a word describing a quantity just over six and a word describing a quantity that's twice six um so we know a dozen and just seven is that Yeah, these are just not that hard. We got all that in about a minute and a half, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> just to kind of chit chat about asexuality a little bit more. Um, a lot of people aren't aware, but it it can actually, it's, it's so nuanced. Like it, you can break it down into all of these other different types of orientations within the ace, ace spec or um, asexuality spectrum. Um, so just to give you an example, there is uh, demisexual, where you are um, only attracted to, sexually attracted to someone after you've gotten to know them and have an emotional connection with them. Um, you have catosexual, where you might have been allosexual, which is the traditional form of or uh, sexual orientation where you do have experienced sexual attraction. So you might have been allosexual, um, but then you've had some kind of trauma that uh, means that you no longer experience sexual attraction. So that's catosexual. Uh, you have gray sexual, where you only experience sexual attraction sometimes and in certain situations. You have um, cupiosexual, coy sexual. It, it's just a ton, a ton, a ton of different, I guess, again, nuances within the asexuality spectrum. And the same goes for aroman aromantic a romanticism, I can't say. <laughs> oh, big yawn. Yes. Hi. Somebody is up, up, up. You want to say hello? She's like, I just like this cool mic, which I don't really use with her because she she wants to touch it all the time, which is fine. But yeah, so um, again, if you're thinking that you might be on the asexuality spectrum, definitely look into it because it's not what people think people think it just means you you're um you are a celibate or you're an incel like in involuntary involuntarily celibate <laughs> like no those aren't people who are ace um and also it doesn't mean that you don't have sex it just means that you don't experience sexual attraction so you might have sex you might have a high libido you might masturbate but you can still be asexual. So you have to really um, find where you fit on that spectrum. It's really an interesting thing. Um, so let's move into pinpoint. Because again, it's just, it's not my favorite. It's usually kind of easy. So I'm going to say maybe computer. We're just trying to find the linking thing between all of these clues. Mouse, bear. Are they constellations? Mouse bear cartoon characters maybe uh speed mouse bear speed i'm thinking this is like a light speed speed run mouse it's got to be like a double word thing and you're trying to find the common word maybe mouse bear speed trap yeah, tourist trap, Venus fly trap. All right, so that was three guesses. Not bad, not bad, but again, very easy. So let's set up tango. And then I guess another thing to chat about with asexuality. Um, yeah, my husband's ace. And we're just now kind of <laughs> discovering this together. So it's kind of an interesting thing to... Um, have done this podcast episode with my dear friend Pamela and then to kind of turn the the lens onto my own relationship and realize okay wait a minute <laughs> he does this and he does that and he doesn't like this and he doesn't like that it's like oh my gosh wait a minute my husband is is aromantic and he is asexual and so it's like oh my god wow now I, I've been able to kind of um I don't know like position him within our relationship in a more appropriate way, which 
um, actually, I think actually helped us out in a lot of regards because some of the areas where I was feeling um, maybe a little, yeah, it's okay, where are you going? Don't leave me. But some of the areas where I was feeling maybe um, neglected or like I was taking things personal um, turned into, oh, wow, where I thought I was maybe being rejected. It's actually like, wow, no, he actually was overcoming so many things in order to, um, you know, maintain a sexual relationship with his wife. And so it's, um, I don't know, it just turned something that was kind of negative into like, oh, wow, that's actually really a beautiful thing. And so, um, again, yeah. If you have any questions about it or thoughts about it, um, let me know because it's something we're still working through in our relationship about what that means and how we move forward. But yeah, overall, I think it's a really beautiful thing. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But let's move on to our third game, which is Tango, which again, I'm finding to be a little bit more fun as we get more challenging puzzles. So the thing is, you have three suns, three moons per row, per column. Um, when you see the X, it means you have a different symbol. On the other side, if you have a uh, equal sign, it's the same symbol. And you can't have more than two in a row. So that means that this cannot be a sun because you'd have three in a row. Excuse me. Oh, I'm just knocking this thing. Um, also, this can't be a moon because then you'd have three in a row that has to be a moon has to be suns that has to be a sun has to be a moon now we need another moon to complete that row can't have two moons in a row so that's the sun that's the equals um can't have two in a row boom 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 um let's see here let's see if we have any more easy ones here we go so we need another sun to complete this row can't have two in a row so that has to be a moon um sorry now for this row we need another uh sun and two moons and since we have a sun and a moon um that have to be here and here this third one has to be a moon um let's see what we can do um with this row we need we need um She's making all kind of noises here. Uh, let's see. We need a sun and a moon for this row. Uh, not really giving us anything. Again, I love this when they get a little bit more challenging. This one we have. Um, we need a sun and a moon. Oh, can't have a moon here. So that's a sun. That completes that one with a moon. Where are you going? All right, she just fell asleep. She's like, I want to come to the party. Silly goose. All right, and so now we need uh, a sun and a moon for this row, but that's not really going to help us. Um, let's see, for this row, we need another two suns and one moon. And so the two suns have to go here because you have to have equals. And then the moon has to go here. So sun, sun. That's going to be equals. So that's the sun. The rest of this whole column has got to be moons because you need three of each. Um, <laughs> same here. You need a moon to have three of each. Can't have a sun. Can't have a moon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ow. You got my hair. It hurts. Thank you. Thank you for letting me go. Oh. Yeah. You okay? She just had a huge bottle. It's been changed. She sh was really cozy and sleepy for like two seconds. That's okay. You okay? my goodness this girl okay and then we're down to our final two which is a sun and a moon and there you have it well done well done hi okay so my 
final, um, I guess, thoughts about asexuality before we set up our final puzzle, which will be queens, which is my favorite. Um, it's just that it is part of the LGBTQIA spectrum. Um, a lot of people don't know that the A stands for asexuality. Um, it could also stand for aromantic or a gender. Yes. But, um, but the actual A is asexuality. Um, it also can mean aromantic. Um, it's not really a gender simply because, uh, I don't know. I guess it does, it does mean a gender or two. So just the A spec is the A. And I was thinking that it didn't because I thought that the LGBTQ is more about sexual orientation, but trans is addressing uh, sex and not really um, orient sex and gender and not really orientation. So I guess uh, a gender it, it definitely can be a representation or can be represented in the LGBTQIA plus excuse me two S LGBTQIA plus uh, acronym. So whenever you see the A, you just think asexual. Sometimes, um, yeah, people were trying to say it stood for ally. And no, what a shitty way to try to insert yourself as not part of this culture, as trying to be part of this culture. Um, so no, you're not. <laughs> it's great if you're an ally. That's awesome. But, you, you know, you're if you're not LGBTQIA to us, LGBTQIA plus, then don't try to claim it. You know, just just stay in your lane. It's like, I think... I hate to say it, but it's like what a lot of people do when um, they want to defend black people is they end up taking away the agency of black people. And it's like, that's nice of you to try to defend black people, but black people um, can defend themselves. And, you, you know, just because you might feel, I don't know, solidarity, don't. Hi, how are you doing? I see Diggs BT Dub. Yeah, if you have any thoughts on asexuality, let us know. Um, or if you want to talk about any of the topics I have listed above, I'd love to chit chat. <laughs> We're just hanging out doing LinkedIn puzzles and talking about sex as you do with your baby, right? <laughs> but yeah, so just rambling a bit about 2S LGBTQIA plus and how, um, the A stands for asexuality, um, or aromanticism or agender. So let's jump into our final puzzle. And um, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so we'll play Queens. And the objective of Queens, hi. And normally we'll do some star battles after this, which are like Queens, but I want to get this little one uh, something else to eat, maybe. She's, she's fully fed. She had a big old bottle, so we'll maybe do some solids. Fun, fun, fun. It is fun. But anyway, let's go for it. So you have to have one crown per row, per column, and per colored shape. And so with this one right away, um, I see we can implement some of our rules. Um, so we see in this bottom two rows that we have two solid shapes in the two rows. And so we know that a crown has to be in each shape. So the bottom two rows are fully accounted for. So everything outside of those two shapes can go. So we can't have crowns here, 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 or here. Yeah, girl. And so now what we're gonna do is look at some of our shapes. Oh my God. <laughs> You're too strong. She's too strong. No, it doesn't break it for me, okay? There we go. So now we see some of our shapes where we can <coughs> take away. Hi. This is Day, by the way. She's a little rap, rap scallion. <laughs> hey. All right. So with this shape. <laughs> We can't have a uh, star here because it would eliminate the green. Same with having a star here. It would eliminate the green because you can't have a star around this or in this column. So this whole green would go if there was a star here. Same with this one because remember the stars can't touch. So if you have a star here, you'd have to eliminate all of the yellow. 
It's the same with this Tetris L here, this purple one. Um, also same here. You can't have a star here because you would eliminate everything around it and everything in its <laughs> column. So that would go. <laughs> hey. You okay? Oh, no. Been like scratching her chest a little. Babies do that. I, that's... <laughs> You would think you wouldn't want to hurt yourself, but if you don't keep their nails filed down, they'll like scratch their face and scratch their their chests and bodies and it's like, oh no, stop it, stop. Uh, yeah, so watch out for that if you have kids. Um, and so now I don't really see much else we can take away. So what I'm gonna do is some counting. So I'm looking at these three rows here. And within these three rows, I only have three different colors, the red, blue, and the brown. So I know that the star has to be somewhere in these three shapes. So it can't be in the blue or red outside of these three rows. And we would say the brown, but that's been accounted for here. So everything outside of these three rows that is blue and red can go. That's a nice big takeaway. All right. And so let's see if there's anything else we can start whittling away or whittling down uh, we can take away this brown because if we had a star excuse me a crown here it would take away everything around it and everything in this row yeah girl <laughs> um and now that we uh oh no yeah this one's so tricky i love it the harder they are the more i'm like oh, i have to think this is great um let's see yeah. Um, and if you see anywhere we can take away <laughs> some cells, let me know. Because again, I love these games. I'm just, I'm not the best, best at them. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We are already accounting for the fact that there are five shapes within this five rows. Oh, I see something. So in this row, the only place we can have a crown is in this gray so not only can we take away everything around that crown which is our first one congrats we can take away everything in that column everything in the row is already taken away and everything in the gray because whoop, because that shape is already accounted for yeah girl so now let's see if that helped us anywhere um no not really so the orange, yeah, we're still having to think here a little bit, everybody. Which again, I love. I love the more challenging ones, um, especially for a one star, because usually one stars are super simple. Um, I'm saying star. If I say star, just know I mean, I mean crown, but star battles and queens are the same game. And so star battles use uses stars, of course. Whereas Queens uses crowns. Um. <laughs> My baby is so silly. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got here. All right, I see something. So this blue is now only possible in these two columns. And also this shape has to be within the first two columns. So anything else outside of these two columns can go. So can't have that orange, can't have this pink, which means that our second star is gonna be the orange star, which is here. So we can take away everything around it, everything in its row and everything in its column. So that leaves our pink star. Take away everything around it, everything in its row and everything in its column. That leaves, um, let's see. Now this purple uh, crown has to be here. So there cannot be anything else in this column. Same now for the blue. Uh, the blue is definitely gonna be in this column. Also now we see that the, uh, oh, it's raining really bad outside. Ooh. Hey girlfriend, she's chilling. So the blue is definitely within these two rows. 
But so is the brown. The brown's got to be within these two rows. So nothing else uh, outside of those colors can be in these two rows. So we can take away this red. <laughs> she is so funny. Um, so <laughs> now we see that the blue, the light blue, the yellow, and the green are all solidly within the, the rightmost three columns. So we can't have anything else in those three columns. So the red and brown in those columns can go. Um, also quickly we see that this green <laughs> can only be here or here. So not only do we know there can't be anything else in this uh, row, but that we can't have a star or crown here because it would take away the green altogether because you can't have anything around it, remember? And so now we know our purple star is here take away everything in that row around it and in the column so the yellow star is here take away everything around it in the column and in the row uh, so our green star is here take away everything around it and its row and in its column so the blue light blue star is here it's uh, already got everything taken away around it <laughs> it's so funny uh, so the red one can only be here or here, so we can't have crowns here or here because it would eliminate those. That leaves our brown crown. Brown crown <laughs> is here. So we can't have anything in its column, row, or around it. That leaves our final two crowns, the blue, the dark blue, and the red. What a fun and challenging queens today. That was great. And we got a comment from Diggs. So thanks for checking in with us. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up today because baby girl is awake. <laughs> Plus my five-year-old is, of course, at home because it's Sunday. So we're going to do our homework and um, hang out. She's having a bath right now. Then we can... Do hair, get ready for the week and all that jazz. So I'll hang it up for today. But thanks for talking to me about asexuality. Again, just to recap quickly, asexuality, asexuality is just not experiencing sexual attraction. There's a lot of different forms of asexuality. Uh, Catosexual, graysexual, <laughs> demisexual, coy sexual. So we talked about some of those. Um, my husband is asexual. Uh, he is more specifically gray sexual where he only experiences sexual attraction sometimes. And in certain cases, um, maybe even demisexual, I'd say, cause he and I have an emotional connection. So we, he's feels sexual attraction towards me again, sometimes. So, um, he's also a romantic, which we talked about a little bit. Um, I would say he is, uh, I forget the term for it, but there's a term where you are just averse to sexuality or, or sexual attraction or romantic attraction. And he is the one that, you know, he's actually like repulsed, like romance repulsed, um, which is really interesting. <laughs> so if you, if you have questions or want to chat with me about that, just follow me or go to sexwithsophie.com. Um, you know, I have a lot of information and community and fun things to do there. So join us for free at sexwithsophie.com. Um, also, sex with, um, oh, asexuality. <laughs> Sorry. What? You okay? Now, when a baby is, is coughing or gagging or choking, just leave them alone. Let them do it. Now, when they stop coughing and breathing, then you worry. Then you pat their back. But don't touch them if you see a baby kind of coughing or gagging she probably put her little finger down her throat she's okay she's okay but yeah so that's final thoughts on asexuality <laughs> she's probably gonna throw up oh my god you okay yeah don't just go patting her back just let let them get it out um you can actually make a baby choke if you pat their back and get all of the air out of their lungs when they're trying to cough something up, I think she just put her finger down her throat. She does that sometimes. <laughs> all right, so let me handle this one. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, give us a follow, and we'll see you tomorrow for our next LinkedIn puzzles. Bye.